In this tutorial, I'd like to teach you how to take a picture like this and add a neon frame around it like this. This is very simple to do and it only takes a few minutes. The first thing you need to do is to go up to File and pick Open and select the photo you want. Now I've chosen a photo of my granddaughter Angel eating an ice cream cone. Now this picture is a pretty good picture but I want to crop it down to make it look a little bit better. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to choose the crop tool. Now I want to be able to print this later down at Walmart so I'm going to pick it the aspect ratio up here is 5 by 7 which is where I have it set now but if you want to do a 4 by 6 or a 3 by 5 or an 8 by 10 you can choose that but I'm going to pick 5 by 7 what this does is it keeps the crop ratio to a 5 by 7 picture so I don't have to adjust it or figure it out or anything so I just hold down my mouse button and I pull it out as big as I want it which I'm going to pull it out pretty good size here and then let off the mouse button. Now I can move this crop around to wherever I want by picking this little spot here in the middle and I'm going to line it up a little bit with where I want her and when I decide that that's what I want I come down here to this arrow button not arrow but the check mark button and check it. The next thing I need to do is go back here and turn my pointer back on and I'm going to go over here to the to the layers palette and on the background I am going to right click it and then I am going to choose duplicate layer and then I am going to name this layer neon and tell it OK. Now if you don't make a duplicate layer uh, this isn't going to work for you so you need that's a very important step. Now the next thing I'm going to do is go up here and choose effects. I'm going to drop effects down. Right now it's to show all but I'm going to drop this little drop down box and I'm going to go down here to Wow Neon and choose that. Angel kind of likes purple so we're going to do a purple neon around her picture. So I just pick the neon I want, hold down my mouse button and I drag it over onto the picture and I drop it. As you can see it put a neon frame around there. Now that's a pretty good looking frame but I want to do a little bit more to it. So if I come down here to the layers palette and go to the neon layer, if you look over here on the right hand side you'll see a little thing that says FX. Now if you double click on that FX it brings you up all kinds of new options. Now I want to make the glow around this a little bit bigger. So if I go up here to glow and under enter and I grab a hold of this slider bar and I pull it towards the right a little bit I can make this glow a little bit bigger around her. I'm going to take it so it doesn't get her head. I also would like to add the neon frame make it a little bit bigger and you do that down here near the bottom under stroke and you do the same thing you just grab the slider and you slide it out to get it to where you want it. And I think that looks pretty good so I'm going to tell that OK. There we have a neon border around our picture. Now we want to save this file so I'm going to go up here to file and I'm going to do a save as. Now whenever I do a save as it's always going to come up and want to save it as a Photoshop file which is good if you want to save it and do more work on it later. It saves all the layers and stuff for you that way but I'm going to print this so I want to make this a JPEG file so I'm going to choose that. Now it'll always give me the file name and copy as the option to save it but I want to go ahead and name it so I'm going to call it Angel Neon. I'm going to tell it to save. Now it takes it a second for it to process it but then in a minute I'm going to get a pop-up box to ask me how large a file. Now I always sometimes this will tell you a small file or whatever but I always like to, to save it as a very large file. So then I'm going to tell it OK. Once that's done we have our neon frame around Angel 
and that's how easy it is to do this. I hope you enjoyed this little short tutorial. I like to try to show you do how to do just quick easy things for now because I know when I started working with the program just learning the basics is hard enough. So if you've enjoyed this please leave a rating and comment on it and if you like my tutorials please subscribe to my page. Thank you very much for watching.